Hi. Well, good afternoon. I'm here to update you on the investigation to the disappearance of Mia Marcano. We understand and appreciate uh, that there has been a tremendous amount of interest in this case, both here in, in Central Florida and beyond. And I know that Mia's family and her loved ones are going through unimaginable anguish as they try and find out you know, what happened to Mia. So I want to assure everyone that the Orange County Sheriff's Office is deploying all possible resources to find Mia. Uh, investigations like these ones are very sensitive. Uh, they're constantly uh, swifting or you know, changing and shifting. And so we're talking to you now to kind of balance the intense interest while also maintaining the integrity of this investigation. Uh, so what I could tell you in the most sweeping sense is that hundreds of sworn and civilian personnel here at the Sheriff's Office and beyond have been working around the clock and to deploy all the resources at our disposal, as our disposal to find Mia. Um, so he, here are just some of the resources that we have on this case. So we've set up a command post here at Central Operations. So all the leads and the tips from this case are coming in to detectives to investigate both here and then to send out uh, to our detectives in the field. Um, so all the leads and tips that have come in are being investigated thoroughly and logged. Um, so there are over 60 detectives from our Criminal Investigations Division working s exclusively on this case, 60 detectives. Uh, so our civilian analysts are um, working on all manner of digital resources and social media in, in their quest to find Mia, and our forensics um, detectives are processing all the evidence that we have collected in this case. So we've issued search warrants, investigative subpoenas, uh, tracking orders for cell phones. So not including what's happening today and right now, our emergency response team and others have conducted nearly 30 searches since Mia has been missing. That spans uh, three different counties and has included about 175 personnel. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement has assisted with one of their specially trained canines that can locate electronics, specifically cell phones. The FBI is assisting in the investigation. Our partners at Seminole County Sheriff's Office and Brevard County Sheriff's Office have assisted in the manner of either providing dogs and or dive teams to search uh, bodies of water. And so our helicopters here and our other aviation assets here have been utilized as well as helicopters from the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. So we continue to ask everyone out there uh, if they have any information uh, no matter how small, to call the Orange County Sheriff's Office uh, immediately. Uh, so we're coming up on the weekend now. We know that many people will be out and about in uh, outdoor areas, waterways. We're asking them to keep uh, their eyes open and call us uh, if they see anything. And again, uh, I just want to, um, you know, we've been in contact with Mia's family and friends every single day, numerous times a day, trying to keep them updated on everything that we're doing. And... Um, we are going to find Mia, and we're pouring a lot of resources into this case. So at this time, I'll take any, any questions. Sure, you mentioned three counties. What are the three counties that you're searching in? So Orange, Seminole, and Volusia counties are the three counties that we're uh, targeting. So we're searching uh, several areas, and we'll, you know, as soon as our teams are in place and are searching, you know, we'll let everyone know exactly you know, what they've searched and where. And remember, so as tips and leads and evidence comes in from you know, cell phone records, uh, internet searches, all of those things, uh, we immediately send teams out to, to search those areas. So we believe that. Uh, the suspect that we had named, Armando Caballero, uh, is responsible. We don't know all the circumstances involved in what happened there, but uh, he is obviously, or was obviously, the prime suspect. Is there another person of interest at this point, or is, is everything 
So at, at this time, we don't believe um, there is another person involved. But remember, I said these, these investigations constantly uh, shift and change. Uh, so we're, you know, we're taking all this information in, and you know, we would never, ever rule that out. But uh, he was the main person that we were focusing on. Yeah, I don't have the number of the exact tips. Are we talking thousands, hundreds? I, I couldn't tell you. So we got all that part of the Hold on. So so we got all that part of the scene. Uh, the scene was secured during the investigation. I understand the family came in before the detectives coming to the scene. That is true. I, I didn't understand your question. Yeah. So that's all part of the investigation. Right now, our focus is on finding Mia. So we've been at the apartment complex uh, all week long searching a variety of things. And like we said, as information and tips come in, uh, you know, we, we deploy resources to that area. So we're not going to go into the, like the specifics of exactly what was found um, in the apartment. I, I will tell you that, again, we're deploying all possible resources, and our main focus right now is to find Mia. We talked about social media. A lot of us have seen that video of a man believed to be Armando Caballero in a car, and it was done in belongings. Is that part of your investigation and question number two? What did you find in the car? So... Um, yes, uh, we were given that video uh, right away. That video led us to be able to do a search warrant on Caballero's apartment uh, and vehicle uh, when we found it. Um, so, yeah, all that was investigated. Well, you know, I will say that the search warrant done on his apartment was done in less than 24 hours uh, of us uh, responding to the scene, which is very quick in an investigation like this. But, again, our, our main focus here is uh, finding Mia and any information that would lead to the location of Mia. Well, re remember, you know, just Orange County is 1,000 square miles. Um, so, you know, luckily we do have evidence and tips and leads that come in, and so our searches are trying to be more uh, targeted uh, based on the evidence and based on the leads and based on the investigation. Uh, and certainly it is a large area, uh, but uh, we are, you know, again, we're using all possible resources. <laughs> You know, our, our deputies are, are trained for all that. That's what they do. Um, you know, they are invested in this. You know, I'm a father. Uh, many of our deputies here are fathers and mothers. And, you know, they, they don't care about getting hot. They don't care about wildlife. Uh, they just want to find Mia. They want to um, be able to find Mia for uh, the family. Sure, has there really been data from her cell phone? And, and what kind of data have you noticed from so the only thing I'll, I'll tell you is uh, that we, as part of any investigation, and specifically an investigation of this nature, we look at all that data, and you know that data helps us uh, develop evidence. It helps us uh, target our our searches in those areas. Sheriff, sure, do you believe she was taken alive? Yeah, this is all part of the investigation. I can't possibly know that right now. I can't hear you. Where else did you all secure search warrants for in addition to Caballero's apartment complex? Yeah, so we're not going to go into detail about what search warrants you did, but we did a number of search warrants as well as investigative subpoenas. The family has said that some of your there's an asking to help search the Mutes Murder Beach area. You talked about a little earlier. Is that still the case? Do you want people to go search in that area? Well, we, you know, we had told uh, the family that sh certainly they are uh, – uh, could go out there and pass flyers and take a look around um, based on some of the information that we have received. But remember, there are, uh, there are a lot of different uh, tips and leads and 
and evidentiary items that are coming in that are, are leading us to all, all different places in those in those three counties. But you know, we, we we welcome the family and the friends and and anyone else who, who wants to help out as well. You know our the uh, the sheriff's office emergency response team uh, they're focusing on on the areas where we have evidence um, that he may have been in that area. I, I couldn't tell you the acreage, but I would tell you, uh, you know, 30 different um, search areas by 175 personnel, including, you know, uh, watercraft, uh, aviation assets. You know, we're talking, you know, miles and not, not acres. It's, it's, a, it's a vast uh, amount of space that we have already searched, and, and we'll continue to search until we find Mia. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into what the FBI is actually doing, but they are assisting in the investigation. Yeah, if your information That's correct, yeah. So we are working with the FBI, and, and they are assisting in this case. And I'll, I'll just say in the, in the manner of, of technology at this point. Hold on a second. Yeah, so that's what we're looking for. You know, obviously looking for cell phones, but you know, I'll tell you that you know there are other uh, methods of getting cell phone information without the the actual cell phone. Did the FBI come at the behest of the sheriff's office or as politicians or the family, or why did they? Work? So we, we reached out to the to the FBI in reference to some technology that we wanted them to assist us with. I didn't hear the first part of your question. Okay. When did you first get boots on the ground at the apartment complex on Friday? Was it for a wellness check early on, given that first phone call, or was it she is saying this is a full No, yeah, the first call we got was for a, a check the well being, a wellness check. At what time? I, I don't have the specific time. We can get that for you though. So, you know, w one of the biggest things that, that people can do is, um, you know, try and think back uh, to this weekend if they, if they saw uh, anything suspicious uh, or if they heard anything suspicious or, or even today if they, if they see anything suspicious that needs checked out. You know, I will say that, um, you know, we, we do get a number of, uh, of false indications on, on social media uh, and such, but, you know, we're used to that and these, these high-profile large investigations and, um, our, our detectives are some of the best in the country, and they are really, really working hard to uh, come to a conclusion with this investigation to exactly what happened. Like I said, that'll all be part of the investigation, but I will say, you know, uh, here in the United States, you know, we need evidence, we need a probable cause, uh, and, and those things uh, take time. Like I said, we were in his apartment in less than 24 hours after being called, which is it was fairly quick. But again, all those things will be, will come out in the investigation. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about the apartment's uh, security. I'll, I'll leave that um, to them. Okay, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.